Hello, this is just a very quick video in response to a YouTube comment to show you how you can check for duplicates in an array. As you can see, I've got this array here with four entries in it, and Dan Robson is in there twice. So if I do a new step and put in a compose, and I will use union, and then choose from the dynamic content, YouTube comments, comma, YouTube comments. So the same array twice. So if I run that, we will see this now does not contain any duplicates. So it doesn't tell us if there are any, but it does tell us, but it does make it distinct. So what we can do then is another compose. And I will do an expression. I'll say if greater length dynamic content YouTube comments. I don't know where I am now. This is where it gets difficult to see. So I'm just going to bring up Notepad. Make it make a bit more sense. And then we'll go length outputs, and I called it distinct comments. Okay, yeah, so that is now correct. So it's going to say if the number of YouTube comments is greater than the number of distinct comments, then we'll say true or false. So if we put that into here, we'll call this duplicates exist. And you can see duplicate exists equals true. If I just modify this and take Dan Robson out, that duplicates exist should come up false. Okay, so that's how you can detect if duplicates exist. Okay, so now that we know we've got duplicates or not, um, I'm just gonna make it duplicate again by putting Dan Robson back in. Um, okay, so let's do it a, we don't really need to know duplicates exist, we don't need to make it depend on that. So we'll go to apply to each, um, and then for our apply to each, we'll use distinct comments. Now distinct comments is these are an array of objects, so we want the name value in our apply to each. So just to make it simple, I'll make, put a compose in here. I'll call it item uh, name. Let me just make sure that works. Yeah, okay, so we'll call this current name, and then we'll say add action, filter array, and the array that we are going to filter is the YouTube comments, and we'll say item name, I'm only having to put this in because this is an array of objects, if it was just a plain array it would just be item. Um, and so we'll say it's equal to current name. 
and then we will go to a compose action. And this time we will put in name and then we'll put in expression length oh, sorry we won't actually we'll go dynamic content current name we'll go count that's wrong that one there sort that out quickly current name in there and then count will be length of the filter array I'll call this name with count and then I'm going to add an action but I'm going to delete it again straight after I'm just going to put do a compose with the output of name Count, copy that to my clipboard, do a new step outside of the apply to each. Uh, I guess it's that. Outputs, name with count, yep. So I'll call this one uh, names with counts. And because there's no variables, she had a lot this apply to each would take a long time. So I'm just gonna go concurrency control on, leave it at 20 and that'll be fine. So let's save that now and give it a test. That didn't work. Name with count. Ah, I spelled length wrong. Let's go and fix that. Length. Okay, so we've got two Bradley Pattersons, is that right? Yeah, two Bradley Pattersons. So we've now got down here a new array with each of the names and the number of times they exist. And you can see Bradley Patterson is there twice. So just to quickly explain how this works, the applied to each takes in as its source, duplicates um, distinct comments, shows the current name, it filters YouTube comments on the basis of the current name. Then we get the count of that filter array, which will be equal to the number of times that appears. Um, this we don't need. And then the output of this name with count comes to a new array down here. And then what we can do is another filter array and we'll call this one only duplicates and our array to filter will be names with counts and the value will be item, I forgot what I called it, count maybe, and then we'll say is greater than one. So then this array should now only be the ones that had duplicates. Okay. Um, so I didn't put that in as a string. I put it in, I put it in as a string and I've tried to compare it with a number. So I'm going to go into my apply to each and get rid of the speech marks around here, so that it is again a number, then this should work. Okay, so we've now only got in the array just Bradley Patterson, and what I could do from there is a select action, a 
and simplify that array a bit. So I'll go only duplicates and then I'll just go in text mode and I'll say item name. Save that. And then that should be a simple array containing only the person that had the duplicate. So if I go back to YouTube comments, I'll stick another duplicate in. I'll put Dan Robson in again. Save that. That select now should contain the two duplicates. That's how you do it. See how you get on. Good luck. Cheers. Bye-bye.